pieces of legislation that are sitting on Governor Lee's desk awaiting his signature. One of them is a bill that would expand death penalty crimes here in Tennessee. Fox 17 News' Peyton Muse is joining us in the studio with an update. Good morning, Jen and Erica. Now this bill allows prosecutors to go after the death penalty when it comes to heinous crimes against children, like sexual assault of a child under the age of 12. The person convicted would also have to be 18 years or older. Supporters say this would act as a deterrent, while critics say it might make it harder for victims to come forward, especially if it's a loved one. Republican Representative William Lamberth disagrees, reading a letter from a victim. Down. Since he was my grandfather, I would agree to the death penalty even for him. He molested many generations and this needs to stop. It doesn't help them heal and it also doesn't ensure that folks come forward. We can do the same thing by other means. There is no need to take this step. Of course, child rape is horrifying. No one should have to endure it. Now, Governor Lee has 10 days to sign the bill, veto the bill, or if there's no signature, the bill becomes law. Stick with us both on air and online, and we'll let you know the governor's move on this bill. In studio, Peyton Muse, Fox 17 News, your code red station. Say, man, welcome back to another episode of Scrooge the Media TV. Man, y'all live with free, man. You know, they call me Westside Free, so... You know, everybody call me free, you know, that's who y'all live with, in case you ain't know who I, who I am. But I want to get on here and, um, you know, speak about um, the situation. Uh, Tennessee lawmakers have passed a bill, HB 1663, which is basically a bill that um, pretty much um, allows child rapists to be, you know, basically on death row, you know, um, you know, basically to get the death penalty. Now, actually, I'm not surprised by this because I thought they probably would have implemented this a long, long time ago, but it seems like, you know, um, uh, you know, this is, it was headed this way for a while at the end of the day, you know, um, it's a lot of child molesters out there, you know, like, you know, you know, people that take advantage of kids, you know, and you know, try to groom kids and stuff like that. And I'm always, I always been against that type of uh, behavior anyway. At the end of the day, I feel like kids and women are off limits, but especially kids, whether it's boy or girl, you should not be taking advantage of little kids. And that's how, that's how these kids' innocence gets stripped. You know, like I know a couple people that have been taken advantage of like, like that, you know, some have pulled together you know, and, uh, you know, you know, didn't really let it affect them as they got older, but some have extreme PTSD, you know, you know, you know, just like kind of similar to like war vets, you know, so sometimes they have a hard time sleeping. They got to take medicine for, you know, stuff like that. So PTSD is a real thing, but, you know, for any type of adult, whether it's a man or a woman that looks at a child and say, man, you know what, I want to take advantage of them and, you know, you know, have sex with them, I think that's just weird behavior. At the end of the day, I don't care what, what, what religion, country, wherever you're from, if you take advantage of a kid, that is nasty behavior. I don't care what nobody say. And so I feel like this bill, um, I don't think, I don't think this bill is gonna stop that type of behavior, because at the end of the day, crime is always gonna go on. But maybe this can, make those type of people think twice, you know what, I'm not gonna do that. You know, you know, so hopefully other states adopt this because I think, I mean, look, I'm gonna be 100% transparent because I love doing that. Um, I'm not God, um, I'm not here to say who has the right to live, who has the right to not to live. That's not my objective in this video. But at the end of the day, we have to start treating these type of people you know, like, like we treat people that have capital murder and stuff like that, that take innocent lives, you know? You know, at the end of the day, this bill is a step in the right direction. You know, like I said, hopefully this can quiet down some of that behavior, but I just doubt it. You know, it's always weird people in the world. It's always people that think that, that, think that they can get away with anything. 
Like, let's just be real. We all have done something that we felt like, oh, yeah, I can get away with it. They're not going to catch up with me. So it's people out there that has that same type of mindset for this type of behavior. And hopefully other states adopt it, you know, adopt this bill. Um, I think this is a, um, you know, a real good bill, you know, you know, basically, you know, you know, to, um, save our children. The children is the future, whether we want to believe it or not. The children is the future, and and if we can help them, you know, and mature and grow and nurture them and stuff like that, these kids can be, you know, successful and be whatever they want to be. But like I said, I just don't agree with this type of behavior anyway. So I think this bill, this HB 1663 bill, is a great bill, you know, for that type of behavior, especially those type of people that have done it more than once. I mean, doing it once is already bad. But doing it more than once, you know, you got to be held accountable, in my opinion. Everybody might look at it differently. That's fine. I'm not here to tell you how to, um, you know, feel and stuff like that. But it just, it is what it is. At the end of the day, you know, we got to start holding these people accountable. You know, because so many people don't even be getting 10, 15, 20 years. They don't even be getting that. Sometimes they be getting a couple years. A slap on the wrist for a child and a woman. I just think that's just weird behavior. At the end of the day, um, these people do need to be held accountable, in my opinion. It just, it is what it is. Um... They also voted for it. You know, they voted for it. It was 77 to 19. All 19 people that disagree were Democrats. I'm not here to pick Republicans or Democrats. That's not the topic of this conversation. At the end of the day, this is just the facts of the situation. That's that's how it got passed. That's how it got, you know, pushed through and stuff like that. So at the end of the day, you know, like I said, Tennessee lawmakers has passed the bill, HB 1663, which essentially um allows child rapists to be put on death row you know to get the death penalty you know like i said uh i do support it it just it is what it is you know we got to protect kids got to protect women stuff like that like i said you know should no grown man or woman take advantage of little kids that's just weird behavior at the end of the day put yourself you know so put yourself in the shoes of those kids parents you know when you know, them kids telling them what happened and experiences that they went through with that type of behavior. That's weird. So at the end of the day, uh, Tennessee lawmakers, you know, you know, uh, y'all doing a good job, you know, and hopefully other states adopt this because, you know, you know, at the end of the day, we need a lot of things in this world need to change, obviously. But this is for sure one of the things that do need to change. Stop taking advantage of little kids. Stop. You know what I'm saying? Please, you know, no, like, let kids be kids. Kids need to grow so they can become mature, successful, young adults, you know. So at the end of the day, you know, we don't want to see no more kids go through this type of trauma, you know. But I just wanted to get on here and speak on that, man. Appreciate y'all tapping in, man. We're hunting like I was.